busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. President Obama has nominated Elena Kagan, a woman with no judicial experience, to the Supreme Court. Wow. That's like electing a guy with no executive experience to be president. <laughs> While speaking at a college graduation in Virginia, President Obama criticized iPods and iPads as being bad for society. However, the president does love his new iTeleprompter. <laughs> the Los Angeles City Council voted to boycott doing business with Arizona unless the state repeals its new anti-illegal immigration law. In return, Arizona will stop accepting bounce checks from Los Angeles. <laughs> Although he's openly criticized Arizona's new law, Attorney General Eric Holder admitted he has not actually read the law. But in Holder's defense, he did speak to a Mexican chambermaid at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> America's budget deficit for April 2010 was four times higher than it was for April 09. But not to worry. Democrats say they'll raise our taxes five times higher to pay for it. <laughs> A new report shows that most babies actually know the difference between good and evil as early as six months. Not surprisingly, the ones that don't grow up to become lawyers for the ACLU. <laughs> Betty White's hosting of Saturday Night Live brought high ratings and great reviews. The downside is that the economy is so bad, White has to keep working at age 88. <laughs> And finally, an NBC employee in California who won $266 million in the lottery says she will continue working. Unless, of course, Jay Leno suddenly decides he wants her job. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to tell your friends about us. We'll catch you next time.